Well, I hope you're having a fantastic Thanksgiving, and I was hoping we could bring in a little nicer weather, but today, no, the clouds are around and plenty of rain showers, too. Here's the best radar in the Miami Valley, Live Doppler 2X, and you can see that rain working its way on through. Our first band has now moved on through Green and Champaign counties, but we're seeing another band from Bell Fountain down through Troy and just now beginning to work into the Dayton area. Let's zoom in here. You can see U.S. Highway 68 along with U.S. Highway 42, some light rain rain showers, nothing all that heavy, and again, we're not talking about frozen precipitation either, so there's some good news. Trotwood a little bit more in the way of rainfall, also Englewood and Germantown, and as we head a little further north, you can see more rain showers just to the south of Greenville now and to the north of Piqua. So some scattered rain showers out there, and eventually this will start to mix in with a little bit of snowfall tonight. You can also see how this is basically coming down from the northwest. Our center of low pressure just off to our north, and as those northwest winds kick in. It's going to pick up a little bit of that moisture off Lake Michigan, and that means a better shot for some rain, maybe even mixing with snow later on tonight and as we head on through the evening hours. By tomorrow, this system will move off to the east and we'll be stuck in the clouds, but the precipitation should come to an end. Also, for the time being, our winds, they're going to be on the high side. Right now, gusts up around 30 miles an hour in Indianapolis, 24 Peoria, 25 in Chicago. Yep, that's what we're going to have to put up with here as well in another hour or two. And that means wind chills dropping down there. It already feels like 28 degrees in Dayton, 30 in Indianapolis, and then you have those upper 20s out in Illinois as well. And as our temperatures drop and our winds stay fairly steady, it's going to be a cold one for you early morning shoppers around 5 o'clock on your Friday. Current temperature right now, though, without the wind chill, we're looking at 37 degrees. Our winds are out of the southwest at 16 miles an hour, and our humidity at 85%. Our average high and low for this time of year, 46 and 31. Right around midnight last night, that's when we were at 44 degrees. All afternoon today, we've only been in the upper 30s, so definitely a chilly day. And, of course, our weather checkers, a lot of them staying home and enjoying their Thanksgiving dinner. Just a couple calling in tonight, 37 degrees with Don up in Sydney, 37 also Jason in Brookville. 40 degrees out of New Parish with David Wessler and 38 down in Kettering with Barbara Richards. So a comfortable night out there for those folks as they stay inside and enjoy their turkey dinner. But if you're heading out, we're going to gradually see that snow shower build in with the rain by around 10 or 11 o'clock. And then I think by early in the morning, that's when we're going to see some light snow showers around. The good news here, the ground is still fairly warm, so any snow that does fall, it's just going to melt, and we shouldn't see any problems weather-wise anyway on those roadways. Overall, the big picture, there's our low-pressure system off to the north, strong winds out of the northwest, but the good news, high pressure building in as we head into the weekend, and that's going to give us some warmer temperatures. Here's future track. Clouds rolling on through those rain showers tonight as well. I think by tomorrow morning we're going to see a few snowflakes and then maybe a few breaks of sunshine by the afternoon. Tonight, 30 degrees cold with mixed showers, maybe with a little snow in there too. By 8 a.m. on Friday, 31 degrees. Degrees. Still those snow showers around by noon, just some flurries. And then by the afternoon, a couple peaks of sunshine, a high temperature around 38 degrees. That's it. And as we head on through the week here, a little warmer for Saturday, but another system builds in on Sunday and Monday, giving us another shot for some rain, cooling us back down into the 40s for highs by next Tuesday and Wednesday.